grounded due to an inferno that swept Lamasat International Limited Company in the late hours of Wednesday night, destroying investments worth billions of kwacha. Lamasat International Limited Company Human Resource Manager Benoit Kapusa explains the damage caused by the inferno. The impact is huge, as you can see, but in terms of monetary, we cannot determine now because they are still assessing. But in terms of damage, it's real damage, big damage, because this department, like what I said, finishing department, administration, bags, paint, these are the main departments that anchor the company. Now that they are down, so the whole company is down. Lusaka Province Deputy Permanent Secretary Alex Mapushi arrived at the scene to assess the extent of the damage and to sympathize with the workforce. It will be important that we can prevent such fires going forward. We need to work together on this one with the management of Lamasat so that going forward we can prevent such uh, you know, uh, occurrences. Uh. Mr. Mapushi further assured Lamasat that government will not just sit back and watch, but instead will provide necessary help to ensure Lamasat is up and running again. We do not, we're not going to sit back as government and say, okay, this fire has happened, you do it yourselves, you sort yourselves out. No. Where we can come in, do let us know so that we can quickly get you back to working on 100%. Lamasat International Limited Company Chairman Mohammad Ali Ahmad commended government for the concern and assured job security for over 600 employees. And we shall work together. In as far as the employees and workers are concerned, we will make sure that we keep them intact in whatever means we can at the moment so that we don't send any anybody home. We try our best to just keep them and keep, let's say, them to keep their families alive. Yeah, yes. And that's an important thing for us. Mm -hmm. Labnes Piri, reporting Zanis.